Hi. Uh, today, I'd like to share with you a really interesting moment here at Chidoshi's house. Uh, I have had the, the pleasure and the privilege to be able to see some of the makimono of the school. Where is a makimono? Well, you will see. It's like a scroll. And maki comes from road and mono from book. So it's like a, a scroll or like, or like a road book. Uh, the makimono constitutes the, the history and the tradition of the school. In our school we have 18 makimonos or eight, 18 scrolls like this one. We have at this moment five of them. And in each of them some discipline is exposed. For example, we have uh, in the five, the first one you will see is the, the Yari Yutsu makimono. So it, uh, it, it tells you what are the guards, what are the strikes, what are the katas that are being studied under the Yari Jutsu discipline in our school. So in some sort of way, it's like a pensum, it's like a curricula of a particular discipline. Uh, then we have uh, the Shuriken Jutsu, we have Hoyo Jutsu, Naginata Jutsu, and Ochikara or Ebunto, which is the last one. And it is very interesting because uh, it's like a time machine. Uh, and from the a perspective of a scientific like myself, um, uh, I've been uh, involved with physics and mathematics for some time. And at, at this, uh, when you see this kind of uh, um, a structure when you see this kind of uh, detailed explanations and how the history is expressed on paper you can like do a travel time for example in the Naginata one you will see how uh, SSA Seogawa taught several techniques and how it has been passed into different levels and how it has been taught uh, for uh, the last centuries. Um, also, they are really valuable. In the past, for example, when one teacher can, if it, he was in some trouble, an economical trouble, one of his students or some person can uh, uh, pay his debt and in, if the master has nothing else to retribute that uh, action, one way that uh, he has to uh, avoid to be on, on debt with that person is giving him the most valuable thing he had, which are the knowledge. So, what in this case is expressed on the makimono. So, in the past, some masters paid their debts giving some persons makimono. So, there are makimonos in ma many parts of, uh, in, in different hands that are not completely related to discipline training or discipline study because they are so valuable that uh, they were used to pay big debt in order not to to continue in debt with person. This is very important in, in the Japanese honor culture. Uh, also we can say about Japanese honor that uh, we can divide it in two main branches. The first one is giri. It's like our debt or our gratitude with another person, our master, for example, and ninju, which is uh, like uh, the gratitude and respect that we have for our family, our blood. So the concept of giri is really important. So as you see, these uh, scrolls are so so valuable for a master that he can pay it his uh, like a spiritual gratitude to another person giving him a makimono. Also in the past it was really difficult for a student to see the makimono of the school. Uh, at this time, as a, I'm a scholar, I've been a professor for, for some time, so I'm really curious to to do the history and the, uh, and the legacy of our school. Uh, I have been granted the privilege to see some of them. So, uh, it is also important to notice that this is um, something that is hi uh, a life history. 
because this is something that has been passed from master to teacher from centuries. And each time a new Shidoshi is graduated, all these makimonos are granted to him with one scroll that has all the names from the first master until that person. So in the Okuden scroll, you will see all the names of the master until you reach the person. So it's kind to, it's like to have uh, living energy coming through the ages until today. So it's a really precious uh, book, scrolled book, Makimono, when you will see how history has permeated into the school because it shows you how it has been changing for the century. It, it, is, it is telling you the kind of techniques that we're using for a particular master and how it evolved. And in that way, it's, a, it's some sort of be immersed in a, in a tradition. It's more that uh, it's, it's, it's not only a school, it's actually a dental. You will see some kanjis of, of them, uh, like tradition. So it's like to be immersed in some tradition that has been passed from uh, centuries. And it's something that I really appreciate and it is something really interesting and it gives you some sort of idea on how these people lived and how these people thought about their traditions and their schools. So I really hope that uh, these facts and, and these comments can be helpful and you will find it as interesting as I have. So thank you so much.